Hey everyone, welcome to another Pick a Card reading. Today we're going to be looking at what the new moon has in store for you. As always, choose the pile that resonates with you the most. Um, pile 1 is going to be the purple, pile 2 is going to be the yellow, pile 3 is going to be the orange, and pile 4 is going to be the ember looking color. If you need a moment to pause the video and meditate on which pile to choose, please do so. Other than that, let's just get started, okay? Alright, if you chose pile number one, this is your reading. So, looking at the cards, I see that you have a bunch of new opportunities that are going to make themselves known to you. Um, so, the new moon may bring in more job opportunities, more love opportunities, more opportunities to go out and have fun. But I do see you being more engaging in regards to your life. So if you've been pretty pretty much to yourself for the most part, if you you know you've been by yourself or you've been kind of doing things, you know, on your own and you haven't been out with friends or you haven't had a exciting li dating life or the career front hasn't been that, you know, exciting. Um, I do see that changing um, with the new moon. Um, now, with that, um, I do say be very um, cautious of the opportunities that will be presented to you because not all those opportunities will bring you lucrative results. And I see that with... The Five of Cups, which is right here. Let's see if I can grab that card and show it to you. The Five of Cups, which is right here. And pay attention to the red flags, if you can see that. Um, along with the Seven of Cups, which is here, which tells me you will be given a bunch of new opportunities. Um, but at the same time, you have to be very cautious about these opportunities. Um, if you get any red flags in regards to, let's say, for an example, you meet someone and they start to kind of show signs of, you know, toxicity, any sort of toxic traits that, you know, you, you're not really trying to bring into your life. Um, just be very cautious, um, um, not, you know, have your guard up, you know, completely, but just be aware so that way you don't, you know, end up putting yourself in a situation, um, that's worse than you're already in. Same goes for money, um, because I do see the page of pentacles, which is here, which tends to signal a new job opportunity or a new career opportunity, as well as the Page of Wands right here, which signals new opportunities. Um, you also have the Knight of Cups and the Princess of Cups. So, like I said, I see a bunch of new opportunities, a bunch of new um, starts, new beginnings, but... Again, not every opportunity is going to bring you the success that you desire. But on the good news, there is one very lucrative opportunity that will be presented to you. Um, and I have the Ace of Pentacles. And below that, the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Abundance card, the... Um, you know, the, the wealth card. So there is going to be an opportunity that is going to be presented to you that is going to increase your finances. Um, and if you're looking for more on the love front, you will get that opportunity to, it's going to be a solid opportunity that will, you know, enrich your love life or friendships, whatever you're looking for, whatever you're trying to manifest. I do see it coming into fruition um, during this new moon period. Um, but like I said before, just be very cautious because I see a whole bunch of opportunities. So it's not just 
there's maybe one or two solid ones, but you have a whole bunch to choose choose from. You have a whole bunch of choices. Um, but just make sure that you you know make the right judgment when it comes to these opportunities. Um, I do see that you will have people around you, so friends, family, um, and if you need you know any sort of you know kind of like a just a little advice um i do feel that friends will be there to help kind of engage and, and and give you that you know that advice but at the end of the day um you need you you have to make your own decisions but again um you will be presented with these those opportunities to flourish to be successful um to you know have success in any sort of area to which you want to have success um but you know you know, read the fine fine print because I think we're going to be dealing with the retrograde, Mercury retrograde. So um, I could be wrong, but I think we're dealing with a Mercury retrograde. So uh, during Mercury retrogrades, always read the fine print. Always make sure you know you dot your p, you dot your eyes, and you've um, you crossed your t's because um, communication, anything to do with communication, tends to be a bit messy uh, during the retrograde period, but. Overall, the reading is good. You will see, you know, opportunities. You will see things start to come to fruition. Um, whatever you're trying to manifest, you will see it. Um, but at the same time, like I said, just be careful, you know, because if you don't, um, you know, I have the Five of Cups. Um, like, I think I showed the Five of Cups. Um, you will at least have some sort of disappointment if you do not show discernment. You will experience some disappointment now depending on the scale it would depend on the situation but um and uh, another thing i'm getting is if something falls through um let's say if an opportunity falls through it's not a bad thing so let's say you got an opportunity that you from like a job or a you know or something like a higher level position whatever it may be and it falls through. Um, what the cards are showing me is that not to feel defeated, not to feel as if you failed, because that's just the universe making way for something a lot more lucrative, a lot more satisfying, a lot more up your alley. Um, so um, you may experience a, a disappointing loss in regards to something, uh, whether it be career or love, but right after it i'm feeling is something that's more lucrative more solid more up your alley something that you will i want want to say would find a lot more appealing than the previous offer if that makes any sense so again um if you do experience any sort of disappointment in regards to something that you want or trying to manifest i feel like something that's of a higher position of a higher ranking Will be rewarded to you as a result so it's kind of one of those blessing in disguise situations if that were to occur but there's a, a bunch of people who watch my readings but again just look for new opportunities and look for um new beginnings but be very very careful about the opportunities being presented to you and also just if something doesn't go correctly the first time just be patient um it's just the universe working to give you something better. Um, and I do see that whatever that may be, whether you, you know, went through the disappointment before or you're, you're, you haven't gone through it yet, whatever it may be, something way better, something way more solid, something, you know, way more lucrative will replace that opportunity. So that's pretty much what I have for pile number one. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching um, the reading. If this did resonate, please like, share, subscribe, um, and tune in to my next reading. Thank you so much again. Take care, and I will see you again soon. Hey, everyone. For those of you who chose pile number two or the yellow glitter, this is your reading. So, what does the new moon have in store for you? So, judging by the cards... Um, I can see that you've probably been dealing with some restrictions. You've probably been dealing with some waiting. You've probably been dealing with a lot of slow-moving energy. 
and I see the new moon basically releasing those restrictions, speeding up that energy, whatever was previously holding you back, it's being released. I have the free yourself card and I have it's safe for you to love cards. So um, judging by the other cards as well, um, I feel like this has more to do with on the love front rather than the like financial front or what have you. Um, but um, I do see finances being involved as well. So I'll you know get to that as well. But in regards to love, I see two individuals specifically, um, the masculine being the King of Cups, which is here, and the feminine being the High Priestess, which is right here. Now, what's so interesting about these two archetypes? Well, they're both water signs. Um, King of Cups being Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, and the High Priestess representing the Pisces card. Um, I feel from these cards that there was probably something keeping you two together. Now, whether you resonate with the King of Cups or the High Priestess, it's in regards to whatever you resonate with, um, but I feel like you two have been trying to get together for some time or there's been some dynamic between you and it seems like the universe has been kind of putting off this union for a very long time and you've had to wait you had to be diligent you had to be prudent you had to be just you had to kind of wait for the wheel to turn and i do see that that's going to be happening with this new moon um it's going to happen very unexpectedly um, we have the tower card right here. It's going to happen out of the blue. It's going to happen when you least expect it, but um, it's moving behind the scenes is what I'm, I'm getting. It's some, it's an energy that's kind of moving behind the scenes. So whenever the manifestation decides to come to fruition, um, it will happen very quickly out of the blue, out of nowhere. And it may kind of throw you for a loop. Um, now, we have the two of wands twice, which is here as well as here. So we have the two of wands twice. So this could be distance that um, is physically affecting this um, partnership from coming about it could be um just you know you haven't spoken to this person in a while it could be that sort of distance but i do feel like there has been some sort of distance between you two that's kept you guys from being together again um if you don't resonate with this pile it's fine there are three others that you could choose from but for those who pick this pile specifically i feel like whatever has been holding um this relationship back is going to be released so um whether it be distance whether you haven't spoken to each other in a while um something's going to happen behind the scenes um to bring you two together and kind of mend whatever this split was um i do see that there is love between you two i do see that there's love in this connection with the ace of cups i do feel like there's emotions in this connection um especially the fact that the two archetypes are water signs so you tend to be very emotional people and not in a sense of you know emotional instability where you're just emotional and just sad all the time or too excited or whatever but you guys are people who go based on your intuition on your gut feeling um you tend to be very caring individuals very you know individuals with big hearts so you i feel like you know the viewer watching this whether you're the male or female you both share the same archetype so um energetically you two will work well would work work well together um but it i feel like the universe may have had a hand in whether you know on you know what happens with this union you know whether you come together whether you split, split apart um i feel like the universe really had a hand in this um but 
I I think the reason, and, and just kind of going off my own experience whenever this happens, um, the reason is maybe you, the both of you had to kind of release something, maybe something from the past, um, maybe this false belief to which you've held on to for so long that's kind of kept you blocked. Um, whatever the case may be, the universe wanted you as well as the other person to release release whatever restrictions um, that would be an issue for this union to you know come to fruition. And so I see that be, because you've released it, because you've let go, because you've allowed yourself to free yourself, or if you haven't gotten there yet, the new moon will allow you to release, will allow you to let go. Because you were able to let go of your ego or let go of whatever may be the case um, that could be holding you guys back from being together, because you've done the work, the universe is allowing, you know, working its magic to bring you two together. It's working its magic to kind of bring this union together. Now, on the financial front, um, cause I, I, not everybody came here for romance, but on the financial front, let's say there's this job or this person you wanted to work with or for for a very long time, but no matter what you kept doing, it seems like the universe kept putting a roadblock or it kept, um, there's, there were some circumstances that weren't, weren't allowing this partnership to come into fruition. I see the universe working its magic to basically put you in the position to where you and this person or you and this company could work together. And probably the reason why you didn't get the job or weren't able to work with this person might have been something in the workplace or something in the in the in the just in the field um, that may have done more harm to you than good. For an example, let's say there was this company you've wanted to work for. But the the boss and the CEO um, are just terrible people. I'll say that I don't want to get into specifics, but they're terrible people. They they you know they've done some crazy things, and you may not be aware of it. But the people that work at this company are aware of it. Um, and let's say they just they got exposed like a couple weeks ago, and now they're out. Well, the universe had to clear that negativity out so that way you can be in an environment um, that doesn't hinder you from your success. So it may have seemed like it was a setback at the time, but um, the universe wanted to clear out whatever negativity may have, that may have been there that could have stopped you from reaching the best success that you could have reached. So I do see um, whatever whatever you've been trying to manifest, whatever you've been trying to bring into your life, I do see it manifesting. I do see it coming into fruition. I do see it um, happening. Um, it's whatever hold it may have been on or whatever you know blockage that may have been in the way, I do see the universe clearing that out. But just remember, the blockage was there to clear out whatever wouldn't have helped you in the long run. Same thing when it goes to love and relationships. If you held on to some past pains, some past hurts, some past disappointments, bringing that into re the relationship would only cause more issues because that person, you know, that person does not deserve to take responsibility for the other person, the person before them, their actions. So having to release that, having to let all that go, makes space for the other person to be in your life. So. I do feel like the universe, you know, while you were in this waiting period, was kind of maneuvering these negatives, these these blockages out of your life, so that way you can manifest the life and the the position or whatever may have you. You can manifest what you deserve without any complications. So thank you so much for joining me. If you resonated with this reading, uh, please like, subscribe, share, um, and I'll see you again for the next reading. Again, thank you so much. Take care. If you chose pile number three, this is your reading. So, um, judging by the cards, um, I can see that you've probably gone through some sort of heartbreaking situation. Um, and judging by the unrequited love card, which is right here, as well as the Three of Swords, which is here, and the Five of Swords, which is right here. I feel like someone probably previously walked out of your life, 
um, they probably decided that there wasn't enough chemistry, enough attraction, enough um, feelings in the relationship. Um, so you probably went through a recent heartbreak. And if that scenario matches your situation, I do see you moving on um, with the new moon. I do see you getting a new offer of love from somebody new. Um, but there's also a chance, and I and it's a slim chance, it may not happen for everybody, but there's also a chance that the person that walked out of your life may come back in and may try to mend the situation. Now, we don't have the reconciliation card, but we do have two Nine of Cups cards, which would, is right here. The Nine of Cups is here, sorry, here as well as right here. I do feel as if if someone walked away from you, they are going to try to come back, but you're also going to be dealing with another energy as well. Now, if you're the masculine watching this, um, this person could be a princess of pentacles which is the, um, which is like a water sign. If you're feminine, it'd be the same thing, just say a younger male um, as opposed to a younger female. Um, but I do see that this person um, is very immature to some degree. They have a very, you know, child childlike sort of demeanor. Um, and I'm talking more on the past person, not the, the future person, but the, first, the, the past person, God Lord, uh, the past person has it seems to be more immature and more along the lines of you know kind of enjoying the moment having fun nothing too serious nothing too um crazy and perhaps this relationship got a little bit too serious or they felt that the relationship was getting a little bit too heavy and because of that they felt that in order to collect themselves or collect whatever they needed to collect it was the best uh, decision to, to, to walk out well their mistake um, because I do see that um, you have the high priestess which is I see this as another person um, someone more intuitive someone more mature someone more in tune with their spiritual side I see they them coming in again if you are the masculine watching this um, this could be like a Pisces woman if you're a feminine the feminine watching this this could be a Pisces man or whatever you may be into to, to, you know it's your preference um, but I do see um, someone new with a lot more into you know a lot more intelligence a lot more maturity a lot more um, confidence coming into your life um, and they want something a lot more they may they most likely will be looking for something a lot more stable um, I see communication, so they could communicate with you via text, phone, internet, whatever. So I do see them reaching out to you. Um, uh, some of you may feel inclined to reach out to them or, you know, speak to this person, but I do see this person reaching out to you and whatnot. And, uh, you'll have to have a choice. Um, you'll have to make a choice. Now, um, in pile number one, you probably, if you felt drawn to pile number one, it was something similar where there were choices being given, but you had to kind of be very discerning on the choice you had to make. And I kind of see the same thing a bit with pile number three, where you're going to be deal dealt with a choice between two people, like a new love or an old love, and you'll have to make a decision. Um, now, whatever decision you make is completely and totally up to you. I feel like this new love um, will kind of fit your bill more than the old one because the old one seems to be still coming from that mature, the immature energy. Um, but if the, you know, if the old one comes correct and the new one's a lot Im more immature, you know, the dynamics can be switched. Just use your best judgment for the situation. But I do see you um, coming into contact with these two individuals. And when you do, you'll have a choice in regards to you know, what you want to do, 
um, which one you want to, who you want to entertain. And yeah, um, just trust the situation um, because we do have the trust card. Um, Trust that the situation will improve because we do have, along with the trust card, we do have the chariot card as well. So trust that this situation will move forward. It will improve. There will be better communication. There will be better movement. Um, and I can see that you've been waiting for this for a long time. I can see that you've been kind of waiting for things to get better on in the love front or whatever may have you for a while because we do have the three of wands, which is just kind of the card of kind of waiting for things to happen. We also have the two of wands. So you can go from the two the knight of cups to the three so kind of like that progression of like you got the two of two of wands just this waiting for things to happen then you start to kind of see this new offer come into fruition and right here is when your ships come in so you I, so i do see that this new offer is going to be very very appealing um and you know pretty much up what you're looking for but also the person that did break your heart the person that did kind of leave or ghost you, whatever the case may be, will be returning to kind of try to mend that because I do see that they do see your value at this point. They do see that they, they do know that they did make a mistake in walking away. But at the time, they probably weren't looking for something too serious and or too, you know, too complex. Um, they probably wanted to just have fun, you know, play around, you know, test out their options. Um, but I feel like in doing so, they kind of realized that you were the best option out of the other options. Um, but again, that's up to you to make a decision whether you want to go back to this person, give this person another chance. Um, but all in all, I do see that your love life will improve. I do see that you will be getting an offer from a new person as well as an old, an old an, your a past person. And you will have to make the decision um, on which person to choose. Uh, so that's pretty much what I have for pile number three. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, subscribe, and share, and also comment. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so I will see you soon. Take care, and have a good one. Hey, everyone. If you chose pile number four, this is your reading. From this pile, I can see that you've probably gone through some sort of betrayal. Um, this was most likely due to a third party situation because we do have the Ten of Swords here, as well as the, if I can grab it for some reason, the Seven of Swords. And Three of Wands, as well as the Three of Pentacles. So, there was probably some sort of betrayal due to a third party situation. It could be a job, it could be a person. Um, and I see in the new moon that's coming up, you are going to heal from this third party situation. Now, if it's in regards to love, I feel that your recent partner or last partner may have cheated, may have just left, ghost you and not said anything. Whatever the case may be, it brought a sense of betrayal. Now, if this is in regards to family, I see that maybe somebody may have um, left you out in the cold uh, for something else. Let's say... Um, you're dealing with kind of like a stepmom or stepdad issue. I feel that maybe um, one parent may have chosen the step parent over the, you know, over the kid or, you know, many different scenarios. But just something along the lines where there was a sense of betrayal within a relationship, whether it be family, friends or whatever, that has taken place. And I do see you healing from that. I do see, you know, things mending from that. I do see things getting better. Um, I do see somebody coming into your life that is going to bring this sense of balance back into your life. Um, now for different people, um, it can, it, it can be for different people. Um, but I see it being 
either a Earth archetype, which is um, Cancer, I'm sorry, Capricorn, uh, Capricorn, <laughs> Taurus, as well as Virgo, and uh, the other one can be a Water archetype, which is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I don't know why I struggle for, with that, but that's another story entirely. Um, anyways. One of these people are going to come in to basically rectify the situation or both. Whether they, you know, you meet somebody new and you form a relationship with them and they kind of help heal your heart from being broken from the last person. Or if this is in regards to family, a friend kind of lending a hand to make sure you're taken care of, um, that you're not in a toxic environment. Or another family member um, basically coming to the rescue to make sure that you're good, that you're not dealing with the, you know, with the abuse or whatever it may have you, the betrayal. I feel like someone is going to come to your rescue. Something is going to happen that is going to give you that, you know, that support. Again, with the Three of Pentacles, I do see that support being available to you with this new moon. Um... The cards are saying that you are very attractive, you deserve love, you're a very appealing person, and so whatever happened to you in this regard was not your fault. Um, it had to do with the other person, the other person's insecurities, the other person's battles, whatever it may be. You have nothing to, you had nothing to do with that situation, you had nothing to do with whatever they gave you, whatever this, whether it be family, you know, you had nothing to do with the reason why this person didn't like you. Um, that person had their own individual problems to deal with. Maybe they had territorial issues. Maybe they, you know, they have abusive issues. Whatever the case may be, um, you're not responsible for this person's actions. You weren't the reason why this person acted this way. But you do deserve to be treated, you know, with love and respect. And the universe wants to bring that in with the new moon. They want to bring the right people in with this new moon. So that way, you don't have to deal with these toxic people anymore. You don't have to be around these toxic people. Um, kind of just best case scenario, I guess. Um, I feel like the new moon is bringing in your tribe. They're bringing in the people that you are going to spend a long time with. Um, whether it be friends, relationship, you know, love relationships, um, maybe even a pet. You know, You never know. But I feel like... This new moon is going to bring in a fresh batch of people who are going to, you know, be, who are going to benefit your life in the long run. Um, and as I said before, the person that did this to you, um, we're dealing with their own problems, we're dealing with their own addictions, their own, you know, blockages, because we do have the devil card. Um, so they were dealing with their own issues, their own, you know, obsessions, their own attachments. And because of that, it caused the split in whatever the situation may be. It may have caused a split with you and another family member. It may have caused a split between you two, um, between you and a friend. Whatever the case may be, the, 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 the third party that caused the issue or caused the split or whatever it may have you, they were dealing with their own problems. They're still dealing with their own problems, and they're going to have to pay the karma for what they did to you. But... You are going to be given the right people, shown the right people, so that way you're not, you know, in the environment, in, in, in an environment with toxic people like this person who took the liberty to basically try to cause a schism between you and a loved one or just, you know, cause a schism between the two of you. So, again, um, this reading is pretty straightforward. Uh, just expect um, more love in your life, expect more appreciation. Um, from people who want to be around you and expect healing um, from the situation. Expect yourself to heal. And, um, you know, there if, if it is a third-party situation where, um, you know, whatever the case may be, um, I do see that, you know, there's a chance to, you know, not now, but maybe in the future, maybe a chance to kind of you know, mend and whatever. But um, it's important this go-around for you to figure you know, forgive the person and, and just kind of, you know, really understand your worth, really understand your value because you do deserve love. You deserve to be in, in, in a happy relationship. You're very attractive. You're a very, you know, handsome or beautiful person. Um, so you don't want to settle for somebody who doesn't see your worth. Even if, you know, you have 
this ideal or this 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 vision for this person or whatever it may be um the 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 real the real thing is you need to value yourself more give yourself that appreciation give yourself that respect um that permission because you do deserve good things and whatever had happened um wasn't of any of your control it was of any, it was nothing it was of not it was ugh, lord i can't speak it was not of your control it was not of your doing you did nothing wrong this person was going through their own crap and so spirit wants to bring in better people and better situations so that way you can heal from this experience and if in the future you decide you two want to mend or you, you know whatever parties want to mend that's fine but i feel like spirit really wants to focus on healing you and putting you in the right place with the right people to achieve what you want to achieve um and pretty much put this heartbreak and you know in betrayal in the back burner where it belongs so that's pretty much what i have for number four uh, sorry if i kind of got a little jumbled with my words if you resonated with the reading please like share and subscribe thank you for joining me take care and have a good one